This year here in Montana, it's as dry as I've ever seen it. In all of my years of hunting this area, I have never seen so little grass and so little water as there is this year. The spots that have always proved to be good in the past had nothing to hold the game this year. Every year offers up different challenges. This year, I could instantly tell our biggest challenge was gonna be how dry it was. There was no water in the draws. The only water for wildlife and livestock was the water being pumped in by local ranchers. Every year here in Montana, it's kicked off by my yearly trip out east to set my trail cams for elk and bow hunt animals. Right away I knew it was going to be a different season. The places that have proved to work good in the past weren't going to apply this year. The prairie grasslands that these antelope live in don't offer a lot of cover. You have to use the lay of the land if you're going to try to spot and stalk. Typically, there's two methods that I'll use when it comes to bow hunting antelope. The first and most effective for killing mature bucks is the use of water. This can be time-consuming and take patience to just sit there in the heat. But it often pays off. That was awesome! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, what a great way to... The other method is with the use of decoy. This is a lot more high action and fast pace. When it's good, it's really good. And the action is right in your face. I like both methods, and I'll use them when the time comes. I always enjoy a new challenge. And that's exactly what this was. Finding new water, finding where the few antelope that were hanging in the area might be drinking, was gonna be a little harder this year. Growing up and living here in Montana, I think it was always easy to look forward to elk the most, or think about the deer hunt ahead, or even bear hunting. The older I've gotten, the more I enjoy bow hunting antelope, for multiple reasons. I like bow hunting antelope because it's early season. It's the first hunt that kicks off every fall's hunting season. Time we sit on a call 
back they smelt their fear from a mile away Charged in fast as the morning broke Thunder and lightning in a cloud of smoke There's the flash fast as a cotton mouse fang Down the high valley it's venom rang Ground got greasy as the blood soaked in Not a single man ever stood again When I was here scouting, I found a buck that has a crooked horn. And I was really kind of hoping to focus on him. And as luck would have it, we just found him and he's bedded in the spot. I think I can get up on. Both those bucks in that group are shooters. I would take either one of those. Try to get some phone scope footage of him here. He's really cool. His right side lays way off to the side like that. <clears throat> the buck with the bent horn is the bedded one here. Oh, he just stood up. They're in a pretty good spot. Well, no time like the present. I think the best thing to do is just go up this draw right here. Our wind is marginal, but it's really the only play we have. We just saw him go back this way, so that's good. definitely play does. We're not where we thought they were going to be. Shoot. After a few days of scouting here, I think we finally figured out a good spot. Man, the antelope have been few and far between this year. They're in a bad drought. We've seen several bucks in this base in the last 24 hours. And there's only a couple of water spots. This is one of them here, which is a stock tank that the rancher had put in. So we checked the forecast and they're calling for west, northwest winds, which would put us not in a bad spot really this bank here where we're pretty sure nothing's going to come down. We're kind of in an old homestead right here, so there is enough old buildings and stuff that hopefully they just go with it. But sun setting, beautiful evening here. It was hot today, so we're going to hurry up and get this thing taken care of. sun is setting there. I've seen a few bucks in this area so we're gonna give it a shot. You can see this is one of the 360 blinds that uh, doesn't have any blind spots in it. It's 
supposed to be hot tomorrow, but fingers crossed, we're excited about this setup. Where the pavement ends, on X begins. Well, we finally made a decision here. It's so, so dry here that bucks have been really spread out, but this spot looks like it's got a lot of activity. So, we're just gonna spend this afternoon in the blind and hope it pays off for us. It's supposed to get to 99 degrees today. It's August 19th. So, we're going to do our best to stay cool and hopefully find a good buck. Mm -hmm. I felt confident if we put our time in here, it would only be a matter of days before one shooter buck showed up. Super pretty. Came in here, drank at 40 yards, perfect broadside. Then fed right here at about 35 yards. I just, I really like bigger prongs and I've shot enough antelope with my bow now. We have enough season here. I just kind of want to be patient. There's enough nice bucks in this area. I really do think get a shot at one. Learning a lot today, but that's two bucks. Two. 
tube that I would have shot that went to there. Oh man, that buck came in fast. We were not ready for it. Either way, I just, I can't get, they just disappear kind of down in that corner. And unless they happen to stop just right when they get done at 60. I, I got nothing, but even then, we're hoping to have more like a 30, 40 yard shot here at the water. So we've got to change it something up here a little bit to where we can shoot that corner. Good spot. Just got to hone it in just a little bit. Now I'm not typically that picky when it comes to bow hunting antelope. I know I have a short amount of time to get it done before elk starts to take over my brain. Decided to change it up today. So now, when they come in, they should be broadside at basically 35 yards. Feel good about today though. Oh, yes, bud. Yesterday we were set up over here and we couldn't shoot them when they were drinking down there, so we knew we needed to get broadside on them here. Luckily, our wind switched, so we were able to move the blind, and that worked perfectly. Yes. Oh, man, we said we only need one to make this whole day worth it. There he lays. Check that out. That's how far he made it. <laughs> yes. Goat down. No need to blood trail him. does not get any better than this. Come to a place year after year and find success. Just feel so lucky. <sighs> Gonna celebrate tonight. Seeing what these animals had to go through on a drought year gave me an even greater appreciation for the animals we pursue. Each 
year, I already feel this way through the struggles and what I learned. But to see them carve out a living in a landscape that had not much to offer really opened my eyes, made me that much more appreciative of the animal and the food it provides for my family. It's interesting to see the changes each year, and it's even fascinating to watch the way Mother Nature responds. She will find a way, and this year, that was more obvious than ever.